Hi guys, welcome back to another video about the Golf uh, GTE, the Volkswagen Golf GTE. I have uh, the 2015 uh, edition and in this video I would like to test how long does it take for the gas engine to, ch to charge the battery um, up to 10 kilometers range. So as you can see now, hopefully that you see, uh, I have zero uh, kilometers as uh, as the range for the uh, electric uh, motor and I would like to see how long will it take if I ride in battery charge which says recharge battery uh, the engine just started right now to see how long will it take uh, to me for, for me to, to to charge the battery up to 10 kilometers I'm dr I will drive in uh, brake mode which uh, is the highest uh, the uh, regeneration uh, driving mode with battery charge and i will also start the timer uh, just some uh, stats to to start with no, usually the consumption that i have on my uh, on my car is around um, seven eight maybe nine liters per, per 100 kilometers if the engine is uh, is cold so uh let's see how uh, how much will uh, will the consumption uh increase if we're driving in battery charge okay uh okay let's go let's start the timer we are in battery charge let's put it in drive in b mode and let's go As you can see on this display, it's already showing that the engine, the gas engine, is charging the battery for the electric engine. Of course, it's normal for the uh, gas consumption to increase, but uh, let's see just how much. We are now at the three minutes mark and we have charged only one kilometer. One, only one. We are now at the seven minutes mark and we have recuperated two kilometers. I do believe that uh, while the, the engine is uh, heating up, the recuperation speed will, uh, will increase. 10 minutes in and we have recuperated or charged the, the battery for a three kilometers range. With all of this, my gas consumption is 13.5 liters pretty high pretty high we are now at the 13 minutes mark and we have gained back five kilometers in front of me is the Mitsubishi Outlander the hybrid one PH EV Never knew what that stands for. Maybe you know. Tell me in the comments if, if you know what does PH EV means in the Outlander. EV probably electric vehicle. PH maybe it's from Star Trek like photon. Photon electric vehicle. I don't know. You tell me. But it's a nice car. My manager uh, uh, from the company that I work for um, has one of these. She's very happy with it. I uh, actually uh, drove it once as we did a drive test. Uh, what I can say is very that the interior is very spacious, very big car. 
clearly a, a, an SUV. It's nice. It's nice, yeah. And the sound it makes is just like super galactic, super sci-fi. It has a it has a, a a really different sound from all of the others uh, hybrids. Of course, uh, it's a plug-in hybrid as well. My windshield is starting to be a little foggy as I have my AC off um, because I, I don't want to interfere with the uh, consumption to increase it even more. So we are almost at the 17 minutes mark and we have uh, recuperated a range of 8 kilometers. So almost there. I said in the beginning that our goal is to reach a range of 10 kilometers. Yeah, and we did it. So we are, I'm going to pause this 18 minutes and 27 seconds and we have reached the range of 10 kilometers for the uh, battery, for the electric engine. The fuel consumption is at 14.1 liters per 100 kilometers. So let's say that uh, by default on a, on a normal drive in city as I did now, uh, I would have with a cold engine an eight liters or let's say nine liters, okay? Because it's winter, it's cold, uh, it's wet outside, okay? So let's say nine kilometers is uh, on a normal uh, normal day so I have five liters consumption my consumption has increased with five liters let's do a quick math see if uh, driving in battery charge is efficient so for me to to charge the the car on a public charging station and to drive with a full battery for around 40 kilometers it costs me around two euros almost 10 euros 195 196 somewhere around there so uh let's say two euros so if for two two if for if for 40 kilometers i pay two euros it means that for 10 kilometers that's going to cost me 50 cents right right but my fuel consumption has increased with five liters um, above the average consumption, which we said it should be around nine liters. Um, the price for uh, gas here in the Netherlands, where I am now, is let's say on an average 1.6. You can also find it at 1.5 and I also saw it at SO stations it's uh, 1.7 so let's call it an, an average of 1.6 1.6 times 5 the 5 liters that uh, increased my my consumption so 1.6 times 5 is 8 euros right yeah 8 euros so 8 euros to get 10 kilometers if I charge it on a public station it costs me 50 cents so 50 cents compared to 8 euros okay so I'm not going to drive in battery charge anymore because it's clearly not effective at all it costs more it uses the 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 the, the gas engine more uh, of course the pollution increases because you're using uh, uh, gas and clearly it's, it's, it's not an option to take only maybe in in, in uh, cases that really you really need uh, uh, the battery to drive on electric but of course if you're just saying hey look I have low uh, low range on, on, on my battery let's uh, use the battery charge to recharge the battery well yeah that's not an option because it costs you almost 
almost 20 times more. Can you imagine that? Almost 20, 20 times more. So instead of 50 cents, how much you would pay uh, to charge it on a, on a public station, on a public charging station, it costs you 8 euros. That difference is it's very big. Okay guys, uh, hope you like this uh, test, this experiment. Uh, hope to see you soon uh, and to see you soon back on, on this channel and uh, drive safe.